Do you find you're always filling up your smartphone, taking too many pictures, or perhaps recording too many videos, and then you have no memory left and you have to start throwing away pictures? Well, relax. There are many solutions today if you chose the wrong storage capacity on your smartphone as I did. Stick around. Hey, this is Bill Booz and this is Photography and Technology Tools. In this episode, we're going to be talking about flash drives that work with smartphones, in particular with iOS devices, iPads and iPhones, um, and how they can help you to expand the memory, so to speak, of your, uh, your smartphone. Um, I got a new iPhone 7 Plus last fall. I was very excited, particularly because I'd taken my iPhone 6 swimming in August. So when I got, I went a month without without a smartphone, um, and I uh, I wanted to get the Plus because of the improved camera, but uh, I didn't go for extra storage. You know, I uh, fortunately for me, uh, Apple had changed the standard base configuration from 16 gigabytes to 32 gigabytes, so my 7 Plus does have 32 gigabytes of space. But in retrospect, I wish I had gone for the next model up, which turns out was 128 mega, or gigabyte, gigabytes, not megabytes, um, and uh, instead of 68 gigabytes. So next time around, I've learned. But in the meantime, I had to deal with that. And I had to deal with it with my, uh, my 6 as well, my iPhone 6. And so what I looked at were, uh, I was starting to see ads for these drives that had the lightning connect connection to go into your uh, smartphone, into an iPhone in particular, and uh, also a regular USB uh, end of the stick so that you could plug it into your computer. So I got one. The one I got was a 32 gigabyte Omar's uh, flash drive. And the Omar's flash drive was a little rectangular thing uh, that allowed you to, or had one end that had a USB, a push out USB connector, and the other end had a, uh, a lightning connector, the small lightning connector that goes in an iPhone. Um, and it was great because I could uh, take video clips, make a, take a, record a lot of video clips of my iPhone 6, and transfer them to the Omar. And then I could take that and plug the flash, the uh, USB end into my computer and transfer the files. So I hadn't lost anything. And then I could delete them from my iPhone to free up space. Um, and I continued working like that. And, and it worked fairly well f for me. But every once in a while, when I plug it into my computer, it would, I, I wouldn't touch it. But the computer would tell me that I'd uh, prematurely ejected the drive because it saw that that flash stick as a, uh, uh, like a hard drive. And I hadn't done that. And so I finally just got exasperated with it. And Amazon was good enough to, re, you know, take it back, uh, even though I'd had it for probably nine months. Um, and they, you know, I got a, per a percentage of, of what I paid for it back uh, as a refund. But uh, I, I love the idea of a flash drive that I could use with both my computer and my iOS device to transfer uh, files. Without a, a drive, I started doing some research on alternatives and I decided to go with a name brand. And SanDisk is definitely a name brand. And I bought the SanDisk iExpand. Uh, and I bought the 64 gigabyte uh, version. Uh, and as you can see, it has an end that goes into my iPhone and an end that goes into a, any standard USB port. So the nice thing is I can plug this into my iPhone and I don't have to remove the case. With the Omar's drive, I had to remove the case. Uh, and I can do the same thing with my um, iPad. But another nice thing is I can plug this into my iPhone, really, and leave it on because the USB part goes in the back of the iPhone, the back of the case, and the lightning port is um, filled with a lightning connector. And then I can just stick the, the phone in my pocket, take it out, and, and use it. Uh, and so that's very handy. And another reason that it is handy is that the iExpand has a camera app built into it. And so with this plugged into your iPhone, you can, or your iPad, 
um, you can actually use the camera app that's part of the SanDisk software. You know, there's an app that you download, a free app that you download, and the camera is actually part of that. Uh, it's not on the on the flash drive. Um, but while this is plugged into your phone, you can actually take pictures, and the pictures are immediately saved to the uh, SanDisk iExpand. Or you can take videos, and then the videos are saved to your uh, iExpand. So you're not taking up any space on your iPhone at all, which is really, really very nice. I've had it for several months now, and, and uh, I haven't had any problems with it, knock on wood. Um, one of the problems, one of the nice things is that it's so small. One of the bad things is it's so small. So it's, it's kind of hard to lose. I'm looking for like a little case I can put it in so it'll be a little, a little bit bulkier than it is and that I can carry it around in my pocket. During the winter when I typically wear jeans, I can put it in the watch pocket uh, that, uh, that's on jeans. But I don't have that in the summer when I'm wearing shorts. So um, I'm, that's, that's something I'm still trying to solve. One of the ways I use these, or this particular device, is uh, I'll record a, a video update uh, segment and then I'll plug this in and uh, you know, I use the uh, Filmic Pro app to record my video updates. I plug the uh, SanDisk iExpand drive in, copy the file, the video file onto the iExpand and then transfer it right over to my iPad. Now I can do that through the cloud as well but I have to wait but if I'm if, if in that particular instance I want to work on the uh, production of the video itself right away, I, this saves that time. Um, the other way I use it is uh, if I'm taking a lot of clips. And I'm trying. I'm going to compile a lot of different clips, uh, and I'll copy them onto here, and then I can transfer them to my uh, laptop, my MacBook Pro, so I can import them into Final Cut Pro 10 and uh, incorporate them into my video. I do do some B-roll clips using my iPhone, and so that makes that a lot easier too. And finally. You know, like many of these kind of uh, add-on drives, I can save, and it has 64 gigabytes, I can save full-length movies that I have uh, used um, Handbrake to, to, to hack off of the DVD. These are vid videos that I own, so in my mind that is, is legal. Um, and I can put them on this drive and I carry this with me on a trip uh, and I can play the videos right from this drive. So that's very nice. But I really recommend to those of you, or especially if you're having storage problems with your uh, smartphones uh, or with your iOS devices, get one of these sand disk drives. And my, from my experience, it pays to buy name brand. So thank you very much for checking in, and I look forward to having you join me again for the next episode of Photography and Technology Tools. Good day.